Hello guys and welcome to my TypeScript series. In this episode, I'm gonna talk about TypeScript modules. Before we dive into the code, you need to know that modules are not TypeScript thing only, they're available starting with ECMAScript 2015. Modules are uh, units of code, usually files, that are separated from uh, other uh, modules, other files, and uh, they're executed in their own scope, meaning they are isolated from the other world. Uh, in order to use uh, modules stuff, you explicitly need to export and import them, uh, and uh, to exp meaning you need to expose the things you want to use, and when you want to use them, you need to declare using the import statement. This is what I'm going to talk about today, uh, and about the isolation of modules, I'm going to talk next time. So, let's start. I'm going to create a, a directory for this episode. I'm going to call it modules. So, all the stuff you're going to see are going to be in the modules directory. So, let's create a, a module. So, as I said before, a module is simply a file. <coughs> and we'll call it exporting module.ts. Exporting module.ts. In this module, I'm gonna create a few things that are local to this module and that only this module knows about them and some things which are available to the outside environment. So let's create an interface, local interface. Uh, I don't really care, it's, it can be empty. I'm gonna create a local class and it's also gonna be empty. Sorry. And I'm gonna create a local variable. I don't know, I'm gonna be one, two, three. Next thing, I'm gonna export some uh, things so that they will be uh, available outside of this model. So how do I do it? Uh, it's basically the same thing as declaring local things, but adding uh, you need to add uh, the export uh, uh, word. So, export interface, exported interface, I don't care, it's empty, export class, exported class, and export const exported variable. And it's gonna be one, two. Now let's create a module that will use the exported stuff. Let's call it importing module, importing module.ts. And what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna uh, declare that I'm using the exported stuff from the exporting module. How it's done. I'm gonna use the import statement and I'm gonna import from, from the exporting module. Now, I can see uh, all the things that are uh, exported from that module. So I'm gonna declare that I'm using the exported interface, the exported class, and the exported variable. And for the sake of the example, I'm gonna console log the exported variable. I'm gonna build it. After I build it, I'm gonna run the node source modules uh, importing module.js and now you can see the value that is uh, logged here is exactly the value that is exported over here as well. You can see that here uh, I exported and imported uh, from the same module a few things but sometimes uh, you have a module uh, that only needs to export to make it public only one thing. When this is the case, uh, it's very useful to use the default export. So how it's done, let's create another module. Default exporting module TS. Yes. And what I'm gonna do, uh, I'm gonna create a default exported function. Export default a default exported function 
And for exa uh, for the sake of the example, I'm gonna log uh, default exported function. function. Okay. Uh, okay. I'm sorry. Function. Yeah. Now, let's close this. And what I'm gonna do now in the imported module, I'm gonna import renamed default exported function from default exporting module and now I'm gonna call the renamed function I'm gonna build it again and run it again and as you can see uh, it, the output is as expected now what happened here you notice uh, you can notice that the import the first import that I did here is uh, spe specifies explicitly what stuff am I importing from the exporting module. Uh, for instance, I can uh, remove the exported class and it will not be available in uh, the importing module here. But when you have a default export, uh, the only thing that is available from that module uh, is set to the thing that you are uh, to the variable that you are declaring here. So basically what, what is done here is that you declare a var variable and you can name it whatever you want. Uh, I called it rename default exported function uh, to, to point out that it is renamed and not the same name as the exported function. And <coughs> what happens here? The default exported function is set to the variable renamed default exported function. And now I can use it. Another useful thing is renaming. Suppose you have uh, some module, like exporting module here, and it, it is a module that uh, you didn't write, you, uh, you pulled from, I don't know, from the FBM, and uh, the things that it exports uh, conflict with other exports from other modules, or you just don't like the names that uh, the author of that module gave the stuff. For example, uh, the exported variable, you don't want to call it exported var variable, you want to call it, uh, I don't know, uh, some variable. Okay, so you can rename the things you import uh, simply by using the as statement, as, uh, I don't know, uh, renamed exported variable. Okay. So after you do it, uh, the exported variable is no longer available by this name and it is available by the exported variable right here. So let's just log it renamed, build it and run it. Okay, so now you see uh, I renamed the variable and uh, the code continued to run the same. Sometimes you have a big module that exports a lot of stuff and uh, you, you don't want to have like a huge import statement that imports all the stuff that that module uh, exports and you need to use them in your module. So there is a shortcut for this uh, which exports, uh, which I'm sorry, uh, imports all the stuff from that module into a single variable uh, like a namespace, you can think of it like a namespace. So it's done like this, import star means all, as uh, let's call it exporting module from exporting, sorry, exporting module. So after you're writing it like this, let's use this, console log, uh, let's call it a namespace and exporting module dot exported variable. Notice, just compile it when I, while I talk, uh, notice that when you do uh, importing like this, you cannot rename the things the module is uh, exporting uh, and you're stuck with the names the author of the module gave to the uh, variables and the classes and the interfaces and the stuff and the functions that he exported. So there is a trade-off, 
but the import statement stays uh, very simple and uh, in one line you can import everything you want. Sometimes uh, you have modules that do not export anything uh, but uh, you want to run them uh, to load some uh, plugins. I don't know, like the, uh, there is a module for jQuery plugin, but uh, in order for it to load the uh, jQuery, you need to run the module for it to plug and play with the uh, module. So how do you do it? Uh, so let's firstly create a module that uh, we're gonna call I don't know, module with side effects.ts. And now, uh, what this module is going to do, it's not going to export anything, it's simply going to log the module with side effect is loaded. Okay, simply this. <coughs> now, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna uh, import it only for side effects, meaning I don't want to use anything uh, that it exports. Uh, so I'm gonna use import uh, from, sorry, not from, import uh, module with side effect. And after I compile it and run it, you can see that the module with side effect is. Uh, is written first because it is loaded uh, before all the uh, logs that we are printing over here. Sometimes as a writer of an exporting module, let's go over to the exporting module, uh, you would like to, uh, to rename the things that uh, you are exporting and use your names that uh, you are familiar with uh, inside the module. One way of doing it is for example um, uh, uh, um, okay let's create a const uh, do, 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 exported variable to rename uh, to rename no, let's call it rename me okay and what I'm gonna do I'm gonna uh, export it and rename it. So how do I do it? I'm gonna export exported variable to rename as uh, I don't know, let's call it renamed exported variable. Okay, let's put it like this. Now when I open the importing module I can import the rename exported variable and I'm con I can log it. Uh, renamed exported. Okay, it conflicts with the name here, so I'm gonna rename it again over here. Uh, 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 I don't know. Uh, I can call it renamed renamed okay I'm gonna do something else I'm gonna call it renamed imported variable here log it over here and here I'm gonna uh, put renamed imported and here I'm gonna use the imported and here I'm gonna use the export okay so Compile, run, and uh, rename the important is 12, and rename exported is rename me as expected. Another useful thing is uh, re-exporting modules. Uh, usually you do it when you have a large module, uh, like I don't know, suppose Angular, and you write it in many different smaller modules, but you want to, uh, to export all the stuff from all the Angular modules. Uh, from one module uh, for the convenience of the programmer using your module. So the way you do it is let's create a re-exporting module. Yes. Now uh, there are two ways to do it. Uh, firstly you can import uh, stuff 
from the exporting module. Let's import one thing. Uh, let's call it. Let's use the exported variable, and you can export uh, exported variable like this. Sorry, this. Uh, and you can rename it. Let's rename it as re-exported variable. Uh, also, you can do it in one line like this. Let's use it here. Export from exported exporting module. And what I'm gonna export is rename exported variable uh, as re-exported renamed variable okay and now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna import them from the uh, importing module I'm gonna import stuff from re-exporting module and there will be only two things available because I only exported two, th two things from there and it will be the re-exported variable and the re-exported renamed variable and I'm gonna log them. Re, re exported, and it is re exported variable, and renamed re exported, and it will be renamed re exported renamed variable. Okay, so uh, once again, let's look at the re exporting module. So the re-exported variable is the exported variable from the exporting module and it will be 12 and the re-exported renamed is going to be renamed. So uh, what we want to happen is uh, here two lines that will be added uh, will be 12 and again renaming. So let's see if I'm right. Yes, re-exported is 12 and the renamed re exported is renaming. Let's take a small look at the JavaScript generated from these modules. So let's close all the stuff and let's uh, open... Sorry, 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 git. And let's see, open the importing module JS and the exporting module JS. Okay. And uh, now let's look firstly on the exporting module. Uh, <coughs> you can see that it uses the exports uh, syntax and uh, uh, this is the renaming here. It's only it simply uh, puts on the export the renamed uh, name for the variable and uh, assigns it to the original variable. And with classes it creates the class and exports it and when you're importing it uses the uh, require uh, to import stuff uh, and name them uh, and create variables that uh, name the stuff but um, you can change uh, the how the javascript looks like from the let's go over to the ts config and uh, what you can change is here, named module. Uh, there are a couple of module systems. Uh, CommonJS is for a uh, node environment, but for example, uh, you can uh, use the UMD okay, module system. And after I change it to UMD and compile it, uh, you will see lots of changes probably here. Uh, and I look at the importing module. Uh, now we changed. Okay, let's change it to something simpler, like uh, I don't know system. After I compile it, okay, it changed to system register, and uh, now I can see all the dependencies of the modules uh, that are imported. And after the modules are uh, uh, declared, you can uh, use the the system syntax to export and import stuff uh, okay and exported uh, is registering a module and uh, here once again 
you're exporting class and the renamed variable, okay, uh, the system syntax. So when you change uh, the module uh, in the TS config, in the compiler options, it changes the way the JavaScript uh, looks like. Let's change it to, uh, I don't know, ES6. Okay, so now you can see, okay, the ES6 is looking uh, very similar to the uh, TypeScript because uh, modules in ES6 are the same as modules in TypeScript. So let's change it back to node environment, uh, common.js, compile it, make sure. Okay. And now it uses the require. You have watched an episode about modules in TypeScript. Let me know what you think about it by leaving a comment down below. You can watch other TypeScript videos by clicking here, or you can trust YouTube to know what you like and click over here. If you want to see other code-related videos, check out my channel and feel free to subscribe. See you next time on Program Artist.